We are heading into the last weekend of summer before school starts, and there is a school nurse shortage in Tampa Bay. Eight on your side, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us from school district headquarters, and it's crunch time. It sure is. And we spoke with many families who are keeping their children home to do online school because they're too nervous about coronavirus. However, we spoke with other families who say they're not worried about the virus or the nurse shortage. I've watched every episode of The Simpsons. <laughs> I'm on season 30. So you're excited to go back yes. to see other kids your age? Yes, I am. I was really bored at home. Alex Henderson starts at Largo Middle School Monday. Mom is excited too. I'm just looking forward to it and I'm looking forward to the kids getting out of the house. But school starting is colliding with a national school nurse shortage. Especially I think in the time of COVID that they are, have become even more important because this is a medical pandemic. Managing officer and nurse Sarah O'Toole says there are 125 schools in Pinellas County, 17 still without permanent nurses. But she says all students will be taken care of. The district is hiring temporary nurse agencies in the interim. The way that the clinics are functioning is different this year than they've been in the past. Um, it, the nurses will be a lot more mobile this year. O'Toole says to protect nurses and students from COVID, nurses will have extra personal protective equipment and mobile units that travel to the student. The Hendersons are confident about heading back to school. I'm feeling fine. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Cool. I'm not worried. Now, the school district says they're actively looking to hire school nurses to apply. We have the link on the WFLA app. Reporting live in Largo, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.